Hey hockey player, in this video I'm going to be running you through a game day domination warm up that's going to prime every single muscle fiber in your body to go out there and absolutely crush it out in the ice. Alright, get yourself ready, start getting your mind in the right place. You're about to go compete, we're going to kick this thing off with jumping jacks. Kevin's going to show you a couple reps of everything before we get into it. You're going to perform 30 in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Alright. Real wide range of motion here. We're not just bringing the arms up halfway and we're not just kicking our legs out halfway. Make a full star with your body. Make this as much mobility as it is aerobic and really start getting competitive right now. You're priming your body to go out there and dominate. We're not just getting warm. This is a warm up for your mind and your body. 30 of these, getting the most we can out of every rep. And when you're done, you're 30. You're going to drop down and do a T-roll. T-rolls in push-up position, but then you're just going to rotate upwards without the push-up. Rotate. Great job. That's what you're going to be doing. Eight per side. Three, two, one. Let's rock. Eight per side here. Full rotation. For bonus points, see if you can get your hand in the air to get behind your hand on the other, on the, on the other side. Really try and reach. You're mobilizing what's known as your thoracic spine right now, which is like right in the middle. This mobilization allows you to actually get more torque on your slap shots. That range of motion, more range of motion you have on that slap shot windup, the more torque and power development and acceleration you're going to be able to create by the time you hit the puck and launch that thing at the net. So really get as much as you can out of each rep here. Eight per side. When you're done your eight here, you are going to stand back up. We're going to do something called a shoulder corkscrew. You're twisting each arm in the opposite position. A little awkward at first, but I promise you'll get it. You're going to do eight per direction in three, two, one. Let's go. Eight per direction here. Really trying to twist. You're creating that corkscrew. Want to warm up the shoulders always prior to game. Shoulders are a hot injury spot for hockey players and oftentimes it's simply because they just don't do the right exercises prior to game time. This is activating a lot of muscles within the rotator cuff that really just need blood volume and connective tissue fluid in there before you go out and play. That's why we're incorporating it right in this warm up here. Eight per direction. Stand there, still, you're going to do a straight arm rotation. Open up your chest, reach all the way back. You're going to do eight per side in three, two, one, let's go. Stretching the anterior deltoid dynamically, the pectoralis major dynamically, and still getting further rotational effect out of that thoracic spine we we're working on in the T-roll as well. Follow your hand, move your neck, just like Kevin is, as, Kevin is as well. That's another thing we want to mobilize prior to game time. You don't want to be going out there with a stiff neck. We're always moving that neck in the T-roll as well as the straight arm rotation. Eight per side here. Once you've done eight, you're going to move into a single leg hip circle. You're going to do eight per direction, per leg. If you need to touch your toe down to get your balance, that's okay. Three, two, one, let's go. This is a great exercise because you're mobilizing the hip in all the areas you need mobilized for edge work. But if you look at Kevin's ankle, it's moving a bit there too. We're mobilizing and stabilizing that ankle prior to game time. So if you were to choose like a bang for the buck, warm up for better edge work exercise, this is way up high on the list. It's excellent. Balance, coordination, hips and ankles. You can't ask for much more here. Wide range of motion. Make sure you're mobilizing that groin while you're doing this as well. We're not just staying in one tiny spot. You want to be like Kevin here. Really driving that knee up and then also driving it back. The name of the game here is range of motion. If you can really break up those adhesions in the hips, the hips specifically are highly correlated to stride frequency. 
If you want a player to skate fast, you can really only impact two areas, stride length and stride frequency. When we're breaking up the hips like this, we are dramatically impacting stride frequency, which is the amount of strides you can take per unit of time to blow by your opponents out in the ice. Stay balanced, keep rotating that leg. After this one, we're gonna be moving into a frog squat, which is an excellent squatting variation. It's gonna be great to warm up the groin. Stay low, kick your butt up, really try and straighten your legs at the top, keep your hands clasped together, and then we're gonna do eight reps in three, two, one, let's go. Stay low, really get those hips down and up. A lot of hockey players out on the ice are doing frog stretches. It's pretty much guaranteed to see every time. A dynamic way to get the job done is far superior. This is why the frog squat is the way better exercise to include in your pregame warm-up routine. Up next, you're back down for a T-scat push-up. Stabilizing the scapula, getting the upper back prepared, upper back involved in your posterior chain. Very important for staying strong on the puck and keeping the shoulders injury free. You're gonna do eight reps in three, Two, one, let's go. Really try and get the shoulder blades being the only thing that's moving. Elbows aren't moving, it's not a push up. You're letting the shoulder blades to come in and then extend all the way back out. Eight reps here, last exercise, archer squats. This is how it's done. Wide stance, toes constantly pointing forward. Bum dropping as far as you can with the arms out. You're going to do eight per side here. Beginning in three, two, one, let's go. Control your breathing. This is your last exercise. I want you to go out there and absolutely dominate the way you know you can tonight. You've done everything you can to prepare for optimal performance. Now's the time to transition into your everyday self or from your everyday self into your high performance self. It's time to go crush it. Eight per side here. Nice job. Control that breathing. Go out there and freaking crush it. If you like that warm up, make sure you check out our app, Hockey Training TV, that can be downloaded on Android or iOS for our entire game day domination package where we have everything you need to absolutely dominate out in the ice. Let's go.